Welcome back, Wolfpack. Brawl Suits, some more Fan Friday. 6v6 singles in this one, and oh no. I don't even I don't even want to know how that's gonna end up. It's gonna be a Sableye versus Sableye mirror open. I mean, they could both be mega. We could both be here for a while. Or, you know, just different strategies, different plans. We're gonna see where this up's go where this one ends up going. That's going to be the opponent with the Mega Sableye. So he's going for that magic bounce. He's going for whatever set up and it's going to be oh mega save live versus mega save live is where this battle's going oh my all right so how do you do anything here like yeah you just like ultimate calm mind so it looks like the opponent save live is going to be faster in this situation uh lucky it's it's pretty much what we call a crit war because the only way to get through it is through a crit but it looks like a knockoff from the allied save live and just switching out going all right trying to set up Going to deal with that, and Mighty Enna is going to be on the field, and Sableye is going to try to get that Shadow Ball damage back in there. So Mighty Enna going to resist that, plus one Calm Mind still means a little bit of damage. Special Defense drop doesn't help, but opponent's going to withdraw the Sableye against the Mighty Enna. Interesting, right? Oh, play rough, right? Mighty Enna gets to play rough, so there it is. That's the damage right there, and it would have done a lot, but uh, Skarmory is the complete opposite. And Mighty Enna's gonna lose some hit points because, yeah, Steel type Pokemon gonna resist. Generally, a pure defensive tank. And Mighty Enna's gonna switch out because he doesn't want to deal with this at the moment. That's gonna go back into the Sableye. Mega Sableye coming in. Is that gonna be the Stealth Rock stop? Um, win for the spikes. Same deal. Same deal. I wanna say same difference. So, same deal, same difference. Whatever. Spikes are now on the opponent's side of the field. And this could mean that Sableye has an opportunity, except this Sableye doesn't seem to be Calm Mind. If you have the knockoff, you're not Calm Mind. So the other Sableye is technically going to be better, but that's why we have the, whatchamacallit. Now bringing Sheninja into the spikes, I guess, free turn right there. You know Sheninja's not going to survive now because of the spikes. Sableye's will wisp isn't going to do anything, and it's pretty much just a way of getting like a fresh turn. You're not taking any damage, you're not taking any will wisp That's going to be the Empoleon answering to the Sableye with that substitute. So yeah, no status, knockoff doesn't get to be as potent right now, so we get to use this, and that's going to be substitute fading anyways, but the Empoleon is going for its own little thing. Ah, oh, looks like a substall uh, into Barry right there, so this is actually perfect for the Empoleon. Gets to outspeed, gets going to substitute, gets to keep setting that up, and we'll eventually go into Lychee, or Salak, or Batea or whatever it wants to do, we're going to find out that this is a Batea Berry, so that is going to be special attack boosting on this Empoleon. Wants to try to get a huge hit in for this last little bit right there. So a critical hit onto the substitute, doesn't matter, and Empoleon's going to go for that Surf, so boosting the Surf onto the Sableye. Sableye though, wow, the one hit KO from the Empoleon, just needed that damage from the Lychee Berry. And now Mighty Anna is going to go for an easy revenge kill right here. And that's going to be the Sucker Punch. So yeah, Mighty Anna, Sucker Punch, play rough. Going to deal with this pretty well. And that's going to be the Empoleon going down. That's the problem. It's easy to get priorityed. Oh, Mighty Anna starting that Snowball with the Moxie on its side. And it does have the Life Orb. So Skarmory is now on the field. And what does Mighty Anna want to do? It wants to stay in with that Fire Fang. Decides to commit with that Moxie boost. Super effective hit. And it gets the burn. That burn is big right there because that burn means that after the damage, should be able to two-hit KO on that Fire Fang. Skarmory might have anticipated a switch out. That could have been an easy Brave Bird, but instead goes for the spikes. That's going to be the leftovers right there. Um, tough call right here because it seems like, yeah, after the Fire Fang, might have enough on that afterwards. Fire Fang won't be the knockout, so Skarmory does get a turn to do what it wants right here. Ooh, getting close on that damage. Life Orb is going to bring it down, and Skarmory decides to go for the Roost. I think that actually is going to cost it right there, because it's going to lose ever so slightly more health. Fire Fang not quite doing a half, though. It's going to be interesting to see where these da damage calculations go. It, I think it might break even, honestly. Uh, Fire Fang could get a high roll right here, knock out the Skarmory. And it will, is what this looks like. So yeah, no crit right there. Just all sorts of interesting damage across the board. And Mighty Anna's going to boost again with the Moxie. So it looks like the Mighty Anna Snowball has begun. Life Orb, though, is going to be the biggest problem for the Mighty Anna. Ooh, that's going to be Magneton, but plus two on that Fire Fang. I don't care how tanky you are with that Eviolite. It's still going to be enough for that KO right there. 
and no sturdy so i guess the um analytic i think that's the other ability right there so moxie gaining so many stats oh mighty anna might have two turns left as well yen mega wants to protect wants a speed boost i think i don't think this is going to be the end of mighty anna's reign though because all it has to do is sucker punch on that plus three stab and fail failure on the sucker punch right there yen yen mega is going to speed boost it but i mean you just keep throwing it out ah the opponent oh Oh boy, this is where things start to get fancy. He's trying to PP stall on that Sucker Punch, but the mind games are real. Yen Mega spamming that Protect, going to Protect on this turn. Was it anticipated? Nidia keeps throwing out the Sucker Punch, so do you expect the opponent to just keep using Protect? If he does, free damage right there. Oh, Yen Mega goes for the Protect. It's going to fail, and Mighty Anna throws out the Fire Fang. Anyways, the opponent's stall is going to backfire massively right there. And that is going to be the Fire Fang. So, I mean, if Yen Mega went for the damage, Mighty Anna would have been knocked out. But, didn't the Sucker Punch could have knocked it out? Anyways, Mighty Anna is going to survive on that one hit point after the Life Orb. And Stabilize is going to be on the field. But that's just going to be a uh, play rough. Stabilize taking a little bit of damage from the spikes. Super effective damage on that play rough is going to break down the Stabilize. And that's it, boys. That's, that's going to be the GG right there. And Mighty Anna with the sacrificial Moxie Snowball ridiculous sweep. Oh my goodness. And no one is alive at the end of the battle, but that is going to be it right there. What happened? Did Mighty Anna take out all, the po all the opponent's Pokemon? Huh. Uh, Shininja went down to the spikes, technically. That is some interesting stuff right there. So Mighty Anna, all he had to do was get those outspeeds and then just start that Snowball on the Moxie, commit to it against Skarmory, and the damage was enough. So if you guys enjoy this video mighty in a sweep good for him and i hope you guys see you guys in the next fan friday's last one for the week and that will be up in just a bit